Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Chak Wadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Peace, grace, and mercy be upon the house of David, the Bayath Dabada, which is the elect, the men, and women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. <coughs> And double line, this other apostles will great most on who I learned the truth from. All right, that's uh, just real quick. Um, I was just you know, I just got finished watching this video, um, entitled Evil Arrows of Famine Coming Food Crisis, which was uh, the video was done by uh, the YouTube uh, channel Canadian Prepper. Okay, and uh, he just goes into different various uh, factual, um, you know, uh, things that are going th going on throughout the world. That is going that that you know, if and since it will, if if these things continue, the uh, coming calamities and chaos that is going to befall the whole uh, earth, man. You know, especially you know here in Babylon the Great. All right, and um, you know this this uh this uh, uh video, man. It just you know it, it struck you know fear. You know, righteous fear into into you know my uh, into my heart, man. Because you know, when I was watching this video and then all the things that the guy was saying, you know, I'm not gonna play the video. I'll put the the link in the description. I just wanted to do a little quick commentary on it. You know, all the things that he was saying. You know, it's obvious that you know this is this is where it's headed to. You know, and and of course, linking it up to uh, the prophecy. All right, the prophecies of the destruction of this place. Okay. As scripture says, it should be a time like never was before on the earth. Okay, Yahweh Shai spoke about the the famines, the pestilence. All right, the the the, the uh, wars and rumors of wars. All right, the collapse of the uh, economy of the economy. You know, just the the fabric of everyday everyday life just uh, being you know completely uh, shredded. You know, and um, ultimately, man, if you don't have you know the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. If Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not uh, uh, you know, with us, you know, with you during that time, you know, the, you're not going to survive this, man. You know, you're not going to survive uh, the, the the coming the coming calamities, you know, upon this uh, world if if you're not, you know, uh, under good gracious gr graces of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and you can you know prep all you want. You can learn how to make food. You know, uh, this guy is saying, you know, uh, you know, the the solution to all these things that he he named, you know, was to uh, learn how to grow your own crops, you know. But uh, really, man, look, if you're not once again, man, if, if if the Lord is not on your side, you're not surviving, especially here in Babylon, okay? You're not surviving here in Babylon because, you know, what he didn't get into, <laughs> which is the end all be all, is the uh, destruction, the 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 thermonuclear destruction. By way of the uh, the the ICBM missiles and the return of Yahweh Shah with the chariots, you know. But before that happens, man, there's going to be, you know, a whirlwind of of desolation, okay? You know, and and you know, I just prayed, you know, I had to stop the video and just pray to the Lord to have mercy, man, upon me, you know, uh, uh, to to keep me during this time, okay? Because, you know, we talk about these things all the time, all right. And we uh, have, and we're prisoners of hope. Hope that the Lord, you know, uh, you know, finds us worthy to be uh, delivered from these things. All right, we have faith that we will, we will deliver, be delivered from these things. But you know, just, just uh, you know, listening to the different things that this guy goes into, you know, that's something you know that that this world has never encountered. You know, that we have never encountered. You know, as Paul said, you know, we have not strived uh, until death. Uh, so like we have not strived unto uh, we have not strived unto blood yet, okay. So we haven't been in situations to where you know we haven't eaten in in uh, weeks or don't know when we could uh, next uh, get a meal. All right, I don't know you know uh, um, you know ha uh, 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 you know just basic things, man. You know, <laughs> just so much stuff that you can think about, but. You know, there's a, a quick scripture that, you know, came to mind when I was uh, listening to the video, man. Um, it's uh, 
Revelation 3 verse 10, it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which will, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right. So we know that in order to be kept during this time that we have to, we have to keep the uh, word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's patience, man, which is a, uh, uh, staying, staying rooted, staying grounded and staying faithful to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and doing his will to the best of our abilities, man. Okay. That's the only way that we're going to be uh, delivered. As it says, because we have kept the word of his patience, and that's what we're doing right now in this in this time, okay? While 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 there's yet liberty, we're seeking the Lord, man, while he may be found, calling upon him while he is near. And Yahweh Shai said, What? I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. So the only way you're gonna be kept, which means a safeguarded, all right, or delivered, okay, or secure during all these things, is by way of Yahweh Shai keeping us, man. Okay, that's it. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never since, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one of them, Every one that shall be found written in the book. Okay, so we're going to actually need divine intervention, the the the, the holy angels, to come and deliver us. All right, to to keep us during these times, man. All right, during these times of trouble, during a time of temptation. Okay, and the script says, as as an as the um, such as was never since there was a nation. So a seventy A.D. is not going to compare. Okay. Hey, the famine of uh, uh, of Egypt during the time of Joseph, that's not going to compare. Okay, the dearth during the time of, uh, um, what was that, uh, one of the uh, Caesars, that's not going to compare. Okay, the, the uh, Great Depression, that's not going to compare. It says that it was never since there was a nation. Okay, that's the time of trouble that we're, that we're embarking on, man. Okay. And, and only divine intervention, only Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's power will be able to keep us during this time, man. And that's why we have to keep on fighting, keeping the faith right now, praying without ceasing that the Lord has mercy upon us, man. Okay. You know, uh, uh, Luke, it's the book of uh, Salakia. Luke chapter 21, verse uh, 34. It says, I'm starting, I'll just go straight to the point. Uh, yeah, I started 34. It says, and take heed to yourselves, least at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and the cares of this life. And so that that day come upon you unawares. What day? The, the day that this guy is talking about in his videos, man. The hour of uh, the evil hours of famine. OK, which is it, which comes from the book of Ezekiel, the fifth chapter. All right. That that day come upon you unawares because the people in this world, they're not expecting this, man. They're not expecting a, a, a famines. They're not expecting, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, lights out. OK, they're not expect, expecting people, uh, neighbors, you know, robbing each other for lack of bread. OK, they're not expecting uh, 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 pestilences running rampant, you know, water, uh, you know, uh, clean water shortage, food shortage. You know, they're not expecting none of these things, man. Why? Because they're drunken with the and their minds are overcharged with the cares of this life. All right. It says, for as a snare shall it come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always, you know, and that's what the, you know, the Lord, the water to Yahweh Bashim al for putting the spirit on me to pray when I seen this, man. OK, because it's only through this. The Lord puts a spirit on us to, uh, you know, have this conviction to, to pray and to seek his face, man. And we just pray that the Lord keeps that uh, Holy Spirit on us, man. All right. But, you know, watching this video, you know, this is what I did. I watch, you know, watch and therefore pray always that ye may be eight, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape. And that's exactly what, you know. When you watch this video, that's exactly what it makes you uh, want to do, man. Pray that you are found worthy to, to be able to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man, okay? Because if you can't escape these things, if the Lord doesn't uh, grant you the mercy to escape these things, 
hey, it's it's gonna be a terrible, terrible destruction, terrible way to die, man. Okay, hey, the scripture tells you that people are gonna seek death is not gonna be able to find it. That's how much, that's how horrible life is gonna be during this time. That people are gonna try to seek death and won't be able to find it, man. Okay, and it also tells you in the book of Lamentations that dying by the sword is better than dying by famine, which famine is going to be a great, you know, it, it, it's a it's as God goes into man when you watch the video he says it's a neurological you know uh uh collapse or trigger that happens when you don't eat food for a certain amount of days man okay so that whole zombie you know the 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 walking dead you know zombie apocalypse that's really just people you know that you see right now that hasn't eaten in a while they're going to become zombified okay to the point where they're just they're going to crave human flesh all right. That's what it is tonight. It's not going to be no biological chemical attack that's going to make people, you know, uh, rape or uh, rabbit. All right. It's going to be people, the lack of food on, on, on uh, out here, man. And the convenience that people have have taken advantage of and have uh, uh, taken for granted right now is going to these uh, supermarkets, you know, thinking that food just magically appears. That's going to be taken away from them, man. OK, especially here in, in, in Babylon. All right. So we got to uh, watch and pray that we are found worthy to be escaped these things, man. Because if the Lord don't find you worthy, you're not going to escape it. No matter what you do, no matter how much guns you, you have, no matter how much, how much you know, you, you, you uh, prep, you're not going to be, you're not going to escape it, man. Unless you're how about Shimei was shy, it's on your side. All right. So I ended out with this. Second Ezra chapter uh, 16, verse 71. It says here, uh, 74. It says, Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Okay, Jacob's trouble. All right. The Lord said that in that Jacob's trouble is going to be upon, you know, upon the whole world. Okay, as we as we read in, in, in previous scriptures. All right. And the Yahweh Bashim Al-Shed said, said that he will deliver us. You're not going to have the strength, the power, the will, the 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 anything to deliver yourself, man. Okay, only the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, all right, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, supping with you is going to be able to deliver you, and that's going to be by way of divine intervention, spiritual power. All right, that's the only way you're going to su uh, survive this, man. Be delivered is through spiritual power. It says, "Be not, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your God." That's right, man. And this is what this is why we got to resort back to the scriptures because when you read the scriptures, it gives you that that comfort. To know that the Lord said that he will deliver us, man, if we keep the word of his patience, if we keep faithful, all right, if we keep doing his will to the best of our ability, we have nothing to fear. We don't have to, we don't have to doubt if we're going to survive because the one who's bringing the calamities is the one that we are seeking refuge of, uh, from, uh, to like refuge to, okay? The name of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is a strong tower and the righteous runneth into it and are safe. Okay, we're running into the name of the Lord. We're not running into FEMA. We're not running to to uh, uh, the government. We're not running into uh, 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 you know food prepping. Okay, we're running to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, asking Him to deliver us. All right, and to keep us during this time, man. Okay, so hey, you know, Lord willing, you know, brothers, I, I suggest to watch this video. You can see it on this brother's page right here. You know, I'll put the uh, the link to this uh, video in the description box. You know, and uh, just, hey, man, pray that pray that you are found worthy, man. OK, and do the will. All right. Do the work. OK, to to to, to be found worthy. All right. Because as Yahweh Shai said that his reward is with him to give every man according to his work shall be. All right. So you're going to get according to your work. You got to put in the work for, for in order for you, to, you know, the work plus the actually Let me get that. My bad. You know, the work plus the faith. Is what's, is what's going to be able to uh, deliver you, okay? This is, um, oh yeah, 2nd Edges 9, verse 7. It says, and everyone shall be, able, shall be saved and shall be able to escape. You see that? Escape. All right, so there's stuff coming to this place that we're going to need to escape from. But it's going to be everywhere, so the only way you can escape is by way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So the Lord saying right here, everyone that shall be shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. OK, by works and by faith, faith without works is dead. Works without faith is dead. You need to have both, man. 
Okay, so Lord willing, it's edifying to the elect. Call Lord Yahweh Shai. Shalom.